there is no doubt that the death of Unanwen Ross in 1915, this old Fenian, was planned and orchestrated to be a great propaganda event uh, for the Irish volunteers. And of course, secretly within that structure, the Irish Republican Brotherhood, of whom O'Donovan Rossa was a leading member and leading light, they were planning that this would have maximum propaganda impact for the movement. But the really crucial question is, how do we deliver that propaganda in impact? Um, at that stage, with that, before the ages of television, it was really a question of the power of words and the power of oratory. Tom Clark, the old Fenian, the, the background conspirator of 1916, had already spotted his man. He, he had seen the powerful intensity of this very shy, very reserved man who suddenly flared into this impassioned public speaker when he was given a platform. And he more or less said, Pierce is our man. And it was probably because of that recognition that Pierce had already been made uh, director of press, uh, of, uh, press communications for the Irish Volunteers. Um, late in 1914. And then in July 1915 he heads off down to his holiday home at Rossmuck in the Gaeltacht in the West to fashion the phrases of this speech that he's going to give on the 1st of August. And he takes the train back to Dublin and he comes from this kind of lonely isolated place straight into the centre of the funeral in Nevin. And he always had this vision, and he enunciated in a number of his other writings, he had this vision of himself or of the heroic spirit as somebody who was very inwardly lonely, who stood up in front of a great crowd and then transformed and transfixed that crowd through the power of language. And in a sense, that's exactly what Pierce enacted when he got up there at the graveside. And he uttered this very powerful incantation, which still stands, I suppose, as one of the most uh, famous speeches in modern Irish history. Um, and it delivered exactly the effect and the impact that Tom Clark would have anticipated that it would. So, in other words, Tom Clark did know his man in this regard.